Team Hashtag Team Allblad and welcome back to another Suri Shanks video guys with me on a beautiful day. Thank you so much for clicking into my video today and for joining me. Guys, hashtag no blade left behind today. We're going back in time. We're gonna jump in our time machine, guys, and we're gonna we're gonna reverse. We're gonna go back to when times were simpler. We're gonna be rocking a Mitchell's wool fat shave, guys. Mitchell's Wolf Fat. I've been dying to do this um, soap. I wanted to go back, right? It's very similar to like your William Shave Soap where the formula has not changed, right? Your grandfather would have used something very, very similar to this. It's a lanolin-based soap. It's pretty commonly recommended. It's a very soft smelling soap, guys. Very nice. But for me, I struggled like no one's business. I have no shame in admitting it, guys. I struggled with this soap so hard and I think the problem is modern artisans make it so freaking easy to lather stuff that you go back to this and you're like oh this is work but it does work guys we're gonna be using it today I wanted to kind of revisit it retry it out and kind of reassess my thoughts about two years into the craft now and see if it's changed right see if the last time I used this like two years ago seriously if it's changed. I'm excited, guys. It's going to be fun. You'll have to tell me below. Is there a theme, right? Subi challenge mode, guys. Subaloo challenge mode. Let's jump in the van together. Let's do the Scoobaloo, right? Let's get on the mystery van. What is something you struggled with? Have you revisited it? Subi challenge. Jump on that, guys. What did you struggle with? What was a thing that you, uh, maybe it could be a soap. Maybe it's a razor. Maybe it's a blade type that you just struggle with. I challenge you to revisit it. Try it out, you never know guys. So I'm pumped, I'm really excited today we're gonna be using this. I am gonna be using pre-shave. I swear by that process, so I'm still gonna use this. And we're gonna be rocking the signature, and I'm gonna be using the EDP guys, because Mitchell's Wool Fat has no scent. It's a very limited scent kind of smell. It smells like soap, it smells very basic. So we're gonna really amp it up with Peter's signature, which is just, as you guys know, bourbon all day long. It's like fire, guys. It's like a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of chocolate undertones, and bourbon, guys. I'm pumped, I'm excited. And you know what? Because today, I'm revisiting something, right? I'm retrying something out. You know what we're doing? We're going with Leaf, but we're gonna change things up, guys, and also do the One Blade um, Genesis, guys. The One Blade Genesis V2. We're gonna do both. And not a battle, guys. I'm gonna do half my head with the leaf, half the head with the core or with the Genesis, and just re-experience Mitchell with two different razors that I trust and love. Because I want to see how this Mitchell spills and if it performs better for me, if I get better like surface protection. How's the post shave? I want to experience it again, guys. And I thought you could come with me. This is a soap that I bought off of recommendations when I first started the craft. I was like, I want to, you know, experience wet shaving. And they're like, oh, well then use the traditional style of Mitchell's, guys. And it comes in this hard, hard puck. And what I did is I took my scissors, my soupy scissors, my wife's scissors. And I was like, click on! And I just stabbed it and broke up a piece. And then kind of broke that piece up, smashed that down in my bowl. Then I um, soaked that, those little pieces, guys. I soaked it in my sink and let it bloom. And then I just started working it. Let me tell you something about the soap, guys. It doesn't get a sticky face. If you're used modern, modern artisans, right? If you're like one of those guys that's been trying all the different soaps from PAA, from Shannon's, from, um, from A&E, guys, from A&E, right? From any of these modern artisans, guys, B&M's new, um, new base, the Omnibus base, it gets a sticky face, right? Once you start lathering it, you start seeing almost like a glue texture. Mitchell's does not do the glue texture. It threw me off. The water bed in it's weird for me. What ends up happening is it develops a body. Rather than getting sticky, it starts developing a body, like a, a, like a thick, very, very thick substance. Then what you have to do from there, because that means your brush is loaded, right? You start adding your water slowly. Now, don't go crazy with the water. Just like two drops. Go really slow and add it to the brush knot, not to the actual bowl, guys. This is, this is how I did it, right? I'm not a pro. I'm not an expert. I'm telling you guys how I got this soap in this bowl today. That's my process. Add a little bit. Go, go, go. You know what I mean? And I didn't do a ton of pressure, guys. I just let the soap kind of build and get from um, not frothy, right? You don't want frothy. I got, I just let it sit there and kind of um, build up slowly guys and here's the thing about that if you want that waggle right you this is mitchell's guys this is freaking mitchell's this is mitchell's to the extreme look at this guys if you want this the trick to doing this right is honestly it's going to start developing a heavy body to it do not use pressure i think that was my problem when i first started with the soap guys i was slamming so much pressure into the into the brush 
that it was developing aeration in the bubbles. So I had stuff coming out. It literally looked like the Williams pitcher guys in the actual, where the shave mug was that, like the foam coming out. You don't want to shave with that. That's not good shaving stuff, guys, in my opinion. You're looking for that goop. You're looking for the pudding. And you're looking for something that's similar to like this, guys. You see how like there's just no bubbles. Like there's no, like it's inside of the soap, guys. There's just no, there's just only good body to this. You guys see this? This is critical. That is the trick. And I think we did it. I think we actually lathered Mitchell's. Guys, look at this. It actually even has kind of a shine to it. Like a really nice, like... Yeah, it actually developed, like, for me, it developed better um, body than the Williams Shave Soap, guys. I got a better body out of this than the Williams. Look at this. Really nice. Very, very nice. And not overly aerated. And I just, I, I really think that's critical. And I think that's going to make it so the shave today is fire, guys. It's going to be good. It's going to be awesome. And I want to do it with you guys on channel. So let's go get these razors below, loaded up, and ready for the head shave. Come with me, guys going on guys welcome back to the zubi cam angle with the leaf shaves leaf razor and the one blade genesis razor guys this is a v2 satin um, satin finish in stainless steel that's absolutely beautiful and this is the leaf shaves in their mercury finish guys and this is one of their older run editions guys this takes three half de blades stacked and it does pivot which makes head shaving absolutely bliss and this takes a single blade, right? Usually the feather blade from one blade, guys, that pivots as well. Both of these razors are absolutely phenomenal, and I love them for head shaving. And rather than dueling them out today, guys, we're just going to be doing some testing with Mitchell's Wool Fat. I'm going to be trying some new techniques out with that soap, and I want to use razors that I trust. Guys, in order to start this out, right, we got to load these razors up. So what we're going to do is I'm going to be doing it with a Subi hack styled um using a gem blade guys in the genesis v2 i i did a video on this right it's my second most viewed video ever we just surpassed 1000 views guys and the reason why is because uh, before that video everybody thought you had to clip the gem blade in order to use it and my video showcased an easy way to make that uh, uh kind of change and a reason why not to do that you have to pull the backing of your gem blade off just like i did I use pliers really quickly, and my blades last me about 10 shaves, guys. I get about 10 good shaves on a gem blade. That's what they look like, and this is the Persona. It is a, a comfort coated. It is a Teflon coated, the PTFAE coating on this blade. Very nice. You can see we have not done any cutting, guys. I have not done any modifications or trimming on that blade, right? We just pulled it out of its uh, spine, and that's it. We're ready to load it. We, what you're going to need is a secondary gem blade or a feather blade, guys. Either work. I have one of each that I keep out. Either of these things work. I'm going to be using a gem blade. And you can do this with a, uh, a like a full secondary gem blade. But I recommend removing the blade edge here, guys. Like I talked about in my video, I don't, I don't want to go into a ton of depth about that. But I did re remove this edge, guys, so that when I stack it, I can stack it closer to the actual blade edge, right? We're kind of shimming it. Essentially, we are shimming the um, gem blade into place to put more pressure inside the head cap. And what you want to do, guys, you want that shim, you want the, the blade that doesn't have an edge to be on the bottom. And what that's going to do, and I want to showcase this, guys, so you guys see, the blade on the bottom has a little bit of gap up here. Do you see this? I'm going to try to get this as close to on camera as I can. You see that little bit of gap right there? I hope this is coming across. See that little bit of gap underneath the blade, right? That's the blade without the blade. So when you flip this around, I'm going to flip it around so you guys can see. You guys can see here, oh, it's, it's, it's a little bit harder to show. It's going to be much easier in the, inside the razor. You can see that the blade is actually underneath, right? The edge is exposed, but you're not, um, but it's, it, 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 right? it's, it's exposed, but it's stabilized by the bottom blade. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to stick a sharper gem blade that lasts longer and is also way cheaper, guys, into the um, proprietary system that is built by um, one blade, guys. See this? Right here. We did not do any trimming, cutting, clipping, anything like that. And you can see the blade sits underneath. You guys see that? Underneath the sharp blade. And we're just going to push it forward. You do want to just, you know, lift up a little bit. I've noticed if you lift up, it helps. Just a little bit on the back of that blade. Push that down so it's nice and flush. And we are loaded with the gem blade. This is in, uh, again, this is a gem blade, guys, that we did not trim, we did not clip, and we did not modify in any way other than take the spine off in a V2. 
absolutely phenomenal shaver here. And the reason why I'm picking it up is because I trust it over just about anything, guys. And there you guys go. I'm putting a lot of pressure on there and the blade is not moving. V2 right here with the gem blade. Gonna be awesome. Let's get the leaf shaves razor loaded up, guys. For me, I am not a person that loads my leaf shave razor on all three slots. I do usually load two blades. Keep in mind, I'm doing it this way, guys. I am odd. I like to stack my blades. You don't have to. Leaf does not recommend you do this, right? Most people will take those two blades. They'll unscrew their leaf, just like this, the two blade edges. And you can snap these. I was asked by somebody, they said, why don't you snap them? Because I like the tabs being flush. I don't like them when they curl, guys, when I'm loading them. Usually I like to snip my blades. Plus, I was really scared of snipping when I first started the craft with scissors. And I think it kind of helps to reduce fear when people see me use scissors to cut blades. And there you go. That, that's how usual people um, shave with it, guys. And then they'll add another blade and they'll have three blades that go through the whole leaf. For me, that's not how I like to do it. I'm a person that likes to shave with my leaf with two blades loaded on the bottom slot because that allows me to essentially have an, a single edge razor, right? Where it has a lot more performance as far as um, accuracy. I can feel where the blade is, I know where the blade is, and I don't have the other two um, levels that I have to worry about cutting. I just have to worry about the one edge, and I like it that better, a little bit better that way for me. Plus the bottom of this razor, guys, the leaf, the most aggressive blade is the bottom one. And then they stagger in aggressiveness as you go up. So I get the most performance by just loading the single bottom blade, and I single, I, I subi stack it, guys, again, because for me, I like the way it reduces rigidity and it, or it, re it increases rigidity and reduces blade chatter. Keep in mind, it does reduce chatter or flexion of the blade by doing it this. And if you're used to that flexion and you stop it, it is more prone to go into your skin. So it is a little bit more accident prone if you're a big time presser. But for me, I don't do a lot of pressing, so it works really well. Okay, so we got these two razors loaded up. Let's go see how the Mitchell Wolf app performs with and these Welcome today, back yeah. to the Razor Crisscross, guys, from the Suvi Hat Cam Angle. I hope that was entertaining, exciting, and I hope that, guys, get you, I get you just, like, the ability to reach out and see what I'm doing on the actual towel, right? What is going on with the Suvi Magic below, guys? I'm so excited. These are two razors, like I said, I trust. I deeply trust, guys. I'm sitting on 40 hours of growth at this point, right? If I am releasing this, it's probably... Right? It's in March, guys. It's in March. And I've been sitting on 40 freaking hours of growth. I think that's what my upload time is going to be because I've been doing them in 4K. So you guys have to understand I'm filming, right? And then I go to, I hit upload. YouTube takes forever in 4K, guys. I'm like two days later, a day and a half later, then it finally uploads. So just so you know, there is a little bit of delay. I'm thinking this is going to be probably due to delay in March. Guys, absolutely stoked. Stoked with my 40 hours of growth. For this shave guys and I am like I said throwing on a little bit of pre-shave because I swear by it I just like pre-shaving I like the slickness it gives me and I like the added um, skin comfort it gives me plus it adds a little bit of smell to it right Mitchell's is not a soap that's gonna wow you with smell if you're buying into the Mitchell's product right you're like I want to try out something that was original something that came from the dark ages of wet shaving when that's all that existed right guys it doesn't have very much smell to it it's not like grabbing signature where it's like Boom, you know, a floral bouquet or a beautiful um, B&M scent, guys. It's really not, but take a look. We are getting coverage. We have coverage. It is a comfortable amount of coverage. Guys, look. Beautiful, actually, from, from the Mitchells. And I was talking to my buddy, right? So part of the reason I'm doing this, right? I was talking to my buddy, and he's like, you know, you don't see some of these older brands very often. And I think the reason why, guys, honestly, is because modern shave soap right shave soap that is designed in you know with modern materials is easier to work i really do think it's a little easier to work i have carpal tunnel today from working this guys it was a little bit more work not bad thing it does give you the second to appreciate what we have and how easy artisans of today's craft have really made it but i wanted to showcase something this is still working right it's a not a super expensive um shave soap guys if you're curious I was surprised at how cheap this stuff was, right? When you compare it to other offerings and the amount of soap you have to use to get this lather is very limited. Very little amount of soap, guys, to get something that is resemblant of this. Oh, beautiful. Okay, right side, guys, gonna be leaf. Left side, gonna be core. Let's do it and see how it feels. Here's the weird thing. That actually felt pretty good. 
Wow. I am using the Leaf. I trust Leaf, right? And Leaf is still one of my backers for the channel, guys. They are still providing us with a discount code. You can use my discount code, SUBI, on their website, S-U-B-I-E, right here, right next to my name. That is the discount code, and it will get you 5% off of the entire purchase of whatever you buy on Leaf. But I trust this razor, guys. I really do trust it. And it's giving me a phenomenal shave. And here's the thing, it actually has quite a bit of surface protection. Like there's some stubble coming off, lots of stubble coming off, right? We're using the Derby Premium Blacks, guys. These are not a super mild blade and I'm not getting a lot of blade fill and I still have plenty of skin protection. I like that a lot. Just grabbed a little bit of alum, guys, and I'm throwing it on. Oh, that is nice. Okay, so there you go. Can you shave with Mitchells? Absolutely. And I wanted to showcase, I wanted to be one of the guys on YouTube that said, okay, I did it. I provided information about Mitchells because not a lot of people do, right? Everybody's all excited about what is coming out, the new releases, all the artisans that provide amazing scents and soaps, guys, right? You got Shannon's dropping things all the time, limited releases, the FOMO's going wild, everybody's chasing all the new scents. And I wanted to showcase, right? The old stuff still works good, guys. Old stuff still working phenomenal guys look develops that body it looks nice now let me let me be honest here i'm going to be transparent this is not as nice guys look at this look at how nice look at this look at this oh look at the shine i did it i did it i sh i did it guys i did it i was able to lather mitchells yes beautiful absolutely beautiful now was this easy no it wasn't easy guys for me it took a lot of work it took a lot of work and it took some actual wet shaving experience where I'm like, okay, at this point, if I start adding a ton of pressure, I'm going to ruin the soap. It actually took a little bit more effort than I was accustomed to. And it is not a soap I would actually recommend to new shavers. I, pro I personally wouldn't because it is hard to lather, right? When you compare it to Sterling at the price point, uh, it's a, it's an easier, Sterling's way easier to lather, guys. Way e easier to lather. But... I have heard on several forums that people said, there's no way you can lather this. Look at this shave, guys. Look at the soap. Yeah, that's soft. Oh, that is real. My skin's really liking this. It's very hydrating. And I did it. I honestly, guys, the last time I tried this, I was like, that's garbage. I can't make that work. It went into the into the drawer, the, into the abyss, the <laughs> wet shaving abyss. It's like, I'm never touching that again. I have no need to because I live next to Peter. And if I want good shave soap, I'll just have him, I'll go to see him. You know what I mean? I was like, I'll get some PAA and it'll be five minutes of a tub load and I'll be done. But this is actually performing, I mean, really, really nicely. And I wanted to showcase it. So another reason, other than my buddy saying he wanted to see, you know, more of the classics used, he was like, we need to see more of those classics get used, right? None of YouTubers are doing the classics. Guys, I honestly felt like I had the ability. I was empowered by SV, right? SV is a hard soap, guys. And I was like, if I can lather that nowadays, I can lather the Mitchells. And then I got Mitchells out. I'm like, oh, this is a different base. Like everything about this is different. All right, guys, that's BBS. That is zero irritation too, which is really cool. With the Mitchell's product. With the Mitchell's wolf fat. All right, other side. Again, this is a completely different blade. We're using a gem blade, not a DE blade. It's going to be thicker and it's a different razor. So we're going to see how this feels. I tried Mitchell's, guys, with a, um, a Genesis, my V1, and had absolutely brutal shaves when I first started. I was like, oh, there's no protection. I'm getting protection for days. I was an idiot. I'll admit it. I was a moron. This is phenomenal. It's pretty good. It is actually good. I'm using, uh, like I said, a brand new Persona Teflon coated PTFE gem blade, guys. And it is literally glorious. Glorious. I've been doing so many DE shaves, right? The Genesis or the Ambassador shaves, the console shaves. I've been doing so many that switching over to my pivoting dynamic, ultra nice, efficient, no braining type razors is just so nice. And again, I, me I mentioned this earlier, my most viewed video ever, guys, seriously, it's like one of my most viewed videos ever was when I showcased how to use a gem in any Genesis or any one blade razor, any of them without snipping. I have a thousand views on that, guys, thousand views. So freaking cool. And I want to know, I, I want to mention, I know that a lot of that's you guys passing along. So thank you so much. 
so much for making it happen, guys. We made it to a thousand views on the Genesis video, guys. I'm sure One Blade hates that. I'm sure One Blade's like that stupid guy ruining it for everybody, making us everyone's using gem blades. We're, our, we're not selling our blades anymore. But guys, for me, the gem blade shaves way better, way closer, and I do like it with the additional. Right, we're using the additional um, gap from the shim, so it gets a little bit more efficiency. And I really believe gem blades were designed originally that be very secured, right? If you look at the gem razors, they were a very, very secured blade, right? You didn't have them wobbling around. I don't know why they, they, they came up with the concept. Of I know the guys like the wobbling, but look at the efficiency I'm getting out of that, guys. Look at it. You can't argue with efficiency. You just can't. Beautiful shave. Beautiful shave. Beautiful. You guys are joining me for it. We're rocking out with the Mitchells, guys. And you can see, like, I'm not relathering every pass. We have a nice residual slickness. I think it's amazing that it's a product that really never changed, which is cool. I think it deserves a mainstay, and I think it's awesome, right? We're going back, and we're really appreciating the craft for what it is, and also appreciating the craft for what we have, right? Gives you an idea. When you go back to this, you're like, oh, the lathering alone just saves me 20 minutes of time. Seriously, I bet I spent 20 minutes lathering today. 20, I'm not ashamed, guys. I wanted it to be perfect. I was like going real slow. I mean, you could probably speed it up, you know what I mean? But I wanted it to be perfect for channel and showcase a skill, right? We're showcasing, we lathered Mitchell's wolf fat, guys. We lathered it and it's nice. Here's my problem. I do have a problem now, guys. And this is, it, 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 I don't know what I'm gonna do. Look how much garbage we have in here. Look at look at how much soap is in that bowl still, guys. Look at that. There's so much soap here. Look, look at the nonsense, guys. Look at this. Look how much cold. What the? You guys see how much soap I have left? What am I gonna do with this? All right, come on over. I'll start shaving everybody else's heads. Look at this. Look at so much soap. We gotta just throw it on. Just waste it, guys. I don't know what to do. We have so much soap. And you know the weird thing? It smells really nice. Smells like, it's just a really nice, look at this. It is slick. It is really, really slick. I think it's a little less dense than like an A&E Kaizen, right? Kaizen's really dense. But this is beautiful. I'm just getting a, a couple of my areas up. Wow. What a shape. Ken Mitchell's lather. Oh yeah, boys and lathers for sure. All right, debunked. Debunked. I claim foul play. I claim it. Somebody misled me, right? They're like, this can't be used. Just throw it away. No, it's good. It's not bad, guys. It's not bad. Not bad at all for a head shave. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm really impressed. I'm really pleased. Yeah. Wow. Well, you can see why people still use it and why it gets a good name. The water band on it for me is just not quite as good. Like I said, it's a modern soap. But it is good. And the protection on it is also good. All right. Beautiful shave. I am so excited we did this, guys. I am so excited. This is awesome. Because it was a challenge for me. I was. It was really a challenge for me. I was like, you know, I preach it. I preach um, using things that, you know, have lost enamor, lost light, that still are good. It's what we do on our channel. It is our brand, you could say, huh? Somebody on Facebook's like, you're seeing shit brand. <laughs> the brand? I never thought about my, the brand, guys. The brand is that we, you know, use things that have lost light. We make things work again. We try to help people out get better shaves with things they're struggling with. And the Mitchells for me was something I struggled with, guys. I really struggled with. Just doing some cleanup. And I am really excited because today we conquered it. Oh, and I love my leaf, guys. I love my leaf. I love my leaf. But I will say, I think with the quality I got out of my lather today, for sure, the quality I got out of the lather today, we could have for sure used a DE straight. You could use really anything. It has the water bend. It has the slickness that you really need in order to get a perfect shave. And here's the best part. I have the protection. And it's the protection, right, that you really care about. Oh, my goodness. The smell, again, is just very, very nice. It's a very soft scent. It's a little floral. It does smell kind of like, like an old-timey soap. I did hear some people that could, said they hated it because it has an old-timey smell to it. But for a soap that you pay 15 bucks for 10 bucks 
for just the puck, right? I didn't actually buy the little encasement that you can buy with it. I just bought the puck. It takes like 10 bucks on Amazon. I mean, that's not bad at all. Again, I wouldn't recommend you go at this as your first shaver. I just, I wouldn't. Personally, I would, I would still recommend to the new shaver, I would say go to Sterling, get something that's extraordinarily soft, that's very easy to work, that performs really well, and it has a little bit longer water band, right? The water band to this was really pretty short. I was impressed though, because it took less work, right? Once I figured out where that water band was, I was like, out of the water you go. Guys, look at this. Look at this shave. Do you guys see this? Look at this shave. It's, it's beautiful. It's perfect. It's flawless. And we did it with the Mitchell's Wool Craft, guys. Mitchell's Wool Shave Soap. MFW. Mitchell's Wool Fat Shave Soap. Guys, we did it. What a fun shave. Oh, I, I want to get like a badge that says, I did it. I have conquered Mitchell's. Guys, what a cool shave. Thank you so much for joining me. It was such a cool opportunity. This is one of those moments, right? It's one of those moments. It's a leprechaun month, guys. Leprechaun month. I love Leprechaun Month. Just all the luck happens on this month. And today, we lucked out. We got a phenomenal shave. And now we smell like bourbon. Now we got rid of the Mitchell's Wolf Hat scent. Got rid of the timey scent. And now we just smell like a classy hobo, maybe? Like, we have good taste, but we still like to drink. Like, that is a nice scent, guys. Woo! Smells like the weekend to me, guys. Smells like the weekend. Toss it on the EDP. These are phenomenal, guys. The staying power on this EDP has been great. Wow, awesome shave, guys. Phenomenal shave. Again, you can buy Mitchell's Wool Fat on Amazon. You can buy the Leaf now on Amazon. You can buy the One Blade on Amazon, right? All of this from Amazon, guys. And again, I didn't mention this earlier. The brush we used was a Smaug. The Smaug, because what says classic shaving soap more than Smaug does, right? And again, I got this off Amazon. I like that. I like that this is like something, you know, that is accessible. This is an accessible shave. And now I've got more soap lather to go figure out how to use. Guys, thanks so much for joining me. I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Subi Shaves out!